Cold X Force PC. Recently, a customer sent me a video that claims to give you better performance in X Plane 11 by, excuse me, 12, by simply um, changing settings in Windows as well as the NVIDIA control panel. So I said, well, let me test that. I need to see this for myself because I've always told people, leave that stuff alone. It's a bunch of BS. It's not going to make your system any faster. Leave it alone. So uh, the test system I grabbed, uh, it, it was one I just built. It was a 7900X3D Ryzen chip with a 4080 Super. So a pretty high-end system I tested it with. Um, but it was simply a system I had just built, vanilla X-Plane, vanilla Windows 11. It was the perfect, at least as far as that goes, perfect system to test this scenario with. Um, so the first thing I did, and by the way, the claim is it increases frame rate and smoothness. Now I didn't test smoothness here. Um, it seemed a bit anecdotal, uh, more of just a, a it feels smoother kind of thing, the way the guy presented it. There are ways to measure it. I didn't go and do that, but there are ways to measure smoothness with, uh, I think I did a video on a, on a program that does that, but it measure the frame variance. And what you want to see is kind of a flat line instead of you know this jumpiness with your frame rate. But again, we just did frame rate. Um, so the first thing I did was I ran a baseline test and I got 82. Again, vanilla X-Plane, vanilla Windows 11. The first thing he suggests is game mode. Uh, go in, enable game mode, which it was by default enabled in Windows 11. Then set up a special rule for uh, X-Plane 12 and tell it to run in high performance mode all the time. So I did all that. And the result I got was 81.7. And you may say, wow, that's worse. Not really. This is just a run-to-run -run variance. These numbers are essentially the same. And of course, you're never going to notice 0.3 frames per second. So I thought to myself, I said, well, shoot. He says to enable game mode. Well, what if someone were to disable it? What would that do? I didn't really expect much, but to my shock, there was a difference. So again, game mode is, dis is enabled by default in Windows 11. But if for some reason you went into disabled game mode or some program you're running disabled game mode, what would happen? Well, a massive drop off, 62.2. And you know, I probably need to look up what game mode does, but I think essentially what it does is when you're running a game, it tells Windows, Hey, stop doing everything else you're doing and concentrate on running this game. All your resources just focus on this game that we're running. And so again, don't disable game mode. Uh, I reiterate, I had to actually disable it to get this. So it does make a huge difference if you do so. Now the next thing he suggested, or it wasn't the next thing, but the next thing I did, was to disable high performance event timer in the device manager. Don't suggest you do this, uh, but this is a scheduling thing uh, with Windows 11. And uh, has to do with like scheduling tasks that are running. And so what did I get when I disabled that? Uh, let's see, I got 82.4. So, 82, 82.4, insignificant, probably just a run-to-run -run variance. Uh, and why disable something, an essential Windows process for 0.4 if it's even this? I don't even think it is that. I think it's just a variance. The last thing of all that he or that I did, that was the second to the last thing he suggested, was to disable Bluetooth. Yes, he said to disable Bluetooth in the device manager and you get more performance and smoothness. So I did that, uh, and what did I get? 81.4, can't write all of a sudden, 81.4. Again, not statistically significant. The only one that's st statistically significant is this one. The rest are just run-to-run -run variants. So uh, yeah, shocker, shocker, disabling Bluetooth in the device manager made no difference. So what do we take away from this? Leave everything alone and just make sure you haven't disabled game mode. Uh, I will be testing, uh, I don't know how quickly this will happen, but I'll be testing the stuff he said to change in the NVIDIA control panel. I'm curious about that as well. I've heard people say, swear that, you know, make these changes and you get more performance. I've never been able to replicate it. 
and I'm going to do it. Um, I haven't. I tried a few years ago and found it to make no difference, but I'm going to give it another try. So look for that coming soon.